The first show is How I Met Your Mother. This show follows a father telling his kids how he met their mother by remembering stories of when he was in his late 20s and living with his friends in New York City. Uh, it's a pretty long show. I think it got up to about nine seasons. And the reason why I recommend it is it's a funny show with lots of interesting characters. And... Um, they talk about a lot of kind of dating, relationships, or going out. Um, so that kind of English, you know, is something that you can find and study uh, by watching this show. Also, the show is set in New York City, so that's kind of a big plus for some people. Yes, right. And lastly, I think it has kind of an interesting premise, you know, just the, the way that they frame the story where he's kind of remembering and kind of telling the story of his... Yeah, it's kind of new. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Kids, you remember my first date with Robin. I think I'm in love with you. What? Well, here's the thing. Normal people, you know, people who aren't your dad, usually take longer to say, I love you. Bob Saget입니다. 예전에 풀하우스라는 미드가 있었죠. 거기에 나왔던 굉장히 유명한 배우인데요. 얼굴 보니까 아시겠죠. 이분 목소리가 굉장히 좋아요. 그리고 선명하게 잘 들려요. 발음도 매우 정확하고요. 그래서 영어 공부하기에 너무 좋아요. 그리고 도대체 테드랑 결혼하는 여자는 누군지 이 미드가 정말 끝까지 궁금하게 만들거든요. 그 점도 이 쇼를 굉장히 흥미롭게 만드는 포인트 중에 하나예요. The next show I'd recommend is The Office. Mm. So some people might say that the, the British one is better, and maybe it is, but for studying English, I think mm. I would recommend the American one. Mm. Why is that? Uh, just, it, it's a longer show. Um, it's a little bit easier for mm. people to get into. Right, right. The British one has a kind of very dry humor. Not, not for everybody. Mm -hmm. So what's the story like? Uh, Basically, it follows some employees at a small paper company in New England and Pennsylvania um, as they kind of face downsizing and all kinds of other office shenanigans. So, it's the the premise itself is is maybe not as interesting, uh, but the the writing uh, for this show is really well done, uh, and so it kind of makes it really easy to get into. Um, especially the first couple seasons. Mm. So yeah, it's a really enjoyable show to watch. Um, it's easy to keep watching it all the way through uh, to the end. It has a lot of commonly used English as well, uh, especially some workplace English. Dunder Mifflin, this is Pam. I'm sorry he's not in yet. Would you like his voicemail? Um, but just, you know, kind of general all kinds of uh, different stuff yeah and this one has nine seasons uh as well and it's very rewatchable uh, there's a number of people who you know native speak speakers native speakers who rewatch this show mm -hmm. at least once a year mm -hmm. that kind of makes it a little easier to study with if you can kind of you know, watch it again and again and not really get tired of it. 지민과 팸의 러브 스토리가 오피스를 굉장히 재밌게 만들어주는 요소 중에 하나인데요. 사랑스럽고 귀엽고 애틋하고 안타깝고 그런 여러 가지 장면들이 나와요. 초반에 둘이 썸 타는 것도 참 두근두근하고 재밌습니다. 그래서 이 둘의 사랑 얘기를 재밌게 보시면서 영어 공부하실 수 있다고 말씀드릴 수 있어요. The third one I would recommend is Parks and Recreation. Mm -hmm. This is a show that kind of follows uh, some characters that work at uh, Parks and Rec department in a small city, small town in the Midwest. Um, Called Pawnee. Right. Indiana Pawnee. Yeah. So it's, it's similar in that the premise uh, is not super interesting, like uh, on its face, but it's also very, very well written. And so, yeah, this show is not as easy as The Office to get into. The first season is a little different than the rest of the show. They were trying to kind of figure out what they wanted to do with it, but it is a super, super fun show to watch. Um, and it really picks up after that first season. Uh, Parks and Recreation has a little bit more slang use than The Office, probably. Um, and you know, some of the characters uh, have very creative uses um, of English, kind of you know, like creating their own um, phrases or things like that. Can you give us an example? Uh, one of the characters uh, creates a, a store and he calls it Rent-A-Swag. 
Rent a swag. Yikes. Um, and so, like, that's it's just kind of a funny combination of words,、uh, which you probably cannot find in a, in a dictionary. No. Probably Urban Dictionary. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> They also talk a lot about social media in this show, so some language about Twitter and Instagram, things like that.、Mm-hmm. Um, so through this show, you can probably learn lots of、um, new idioms that people use, internet words, or、mm-hmm. things like that. Yep. You can be more、uh, trendy. Yeah. <laughs> Um, also, as kind of a side note, the, you get to see Chris Pratt、uh, before he got really famous. Guardians of the Galaxy. Right. Yeah. So you can see him while he was still kind of chubby and yes, not a leading action. Yes.、Man. When he was in the show, he was not really popular yet, right? No, not at all.、Mm-hmm. There's a part of the show where. Uh, suddenly,、uh, he looks different, and that's because they started filming、right. some of these movies. Now he's a superstar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 사무실외에다양한장소들이많이등장을하거든요공원여가부다보니까외부업무도많고그래서출장을간다거나박람회를개최한다거나주민센터에서경청회를한다거나하는장면들에서배울수있는업무관련표현들을배울수있어서굉장히좋아요또이쇼에등장하는까메오들을보는것도굉장히재밌어요여러유명한배우들그리고정치인사들도등장을하는데요제가여기서너무많이스포를해버리면안되니까요일단미셸오바마가Hey, Grant. How、Hello. you doing? Doing good. This is Leslie Nope. She's considering a job with us, running the new Midwest Bureau in Chicago. 하나만말씀드리는데굉장히대단한인물이나오죠한번찾아서보세요굉장히재밌는에피소드거든요이외에도요여러매력적인인물들이등장을하고요각종사건사고를통해서화학과단합그리고사랑을보여주는언제나결론은따뜻한그리고보고나면행복해지는미드예요그래서저는 Parks and Recreation 을추천드려요